The last section that we are going to talk about Pythagorean theorem with is section 7.5, using the Pythagorean theorem. Let's start with our key idea. The key idea talks about the converse of the Pythagorean theorem. Here's what the converse means. If you have an equation, if you use the Pythagorean theorem, a squared plus b squared equals c squared, if it is true for the side lengths of a triangle, then the triangle is a right triangle. So you can prove a triangle is right or not by plugging it in and seeing if it works. So let's start our couple examples. Example number one. I want you to tell me, is that a right triangle? You have to prove it to me. You cannot look at this and say, yep, that's a right angle right there. It doesn't say so. So you have to prove it. So we know that we have three sides. The longest side has to be C. So I can set this up as 9 squared plus 40 squared equals 41 squared. So with that would give us 81 plus 40 times 40 is 1600. 41 times 41 is 1681. I add 81 plus 16, that gives me 1681 equals 1681. That is true. So yes, this is a right triangle. Number two, 12, 24, and 18. Is that a right triangle? You have to tell me, is that a right triangle or not? So we start plugging it in. Now don't assume that this is A, this is B, and this is C. The longest side has to be C. 24 has to be C. The other two numbers, it does not matter. So we could do 12 squared plus 18 squared equals 24 squared. 12 times 12 is 144. 18 times 18 is 324. 24 times 24 is 576. 144 plus 324 is 468 equals 576. That is not a true statement. So no, this is not a right triangle. Your next key idea is the distance formula. The distance formula is the distance D between any two points x sub 1, y sub 1, and x sub 2, y sub 2, is given by the formula. And here it is. Here's what it says. I'm telling you this is so easy, but it looks difficult. You subtract your x values, and you square them. You subtract your y values, you square them, and then you add them together and take the squared root. It really is honestly that easy. Subtract your x's, subtract your y's, Square them, add them together, take the squared root. So let's do some examples. Number three. Here's the distance formula. x sub 2 minus x sub 1 squared plus y sub 2 minus y sub 1 squared. Remember, this is your x, this is your x, this is your y, this is your y. All we do is plug stuff in. D equals, subtract your x's, negative 4 minus 1, negative 4 minus 1, squared, plus, subtract your y's, negative 2 minus 5, squared. Negative 4 minus 1 is negative 5 squared. Negative 2 minus 5 is negative 7 squared. And now this is just basic math. Negative 5 squared is positive 25. Negative 7 squared is 49. 25 plus 49 is 74. And the square root of 74 gives us approximately, we're going to round to the nearest tenth, 8.6. Two more problems that we are going to go over are number four and number five. So number four, find the distance between the two points, 0, 0, and 4, 5. 
So we're going to start with our formula. D equals the squared root. So we need to subtract our x's and subtract our y's. Square them and then add them together. So let's subtract our x's. Our x's would be 4 minus 0. Our y's would be 5 minus 0. So the squared root, 4 minus 0 is 4, so we get 4 squared. Plus 5 minus 0, that's 5 squared. 4 squared is 16. 5 squared is 25. That gives us the squared root of 41. And 41 is going to be, would be, we're going to round to the nearest tenth, so be approximately 6.4. The last one, number five, we're going to find the distance between the two points, negative 2, negative 3, and negative 5, 1. D equals subtract our x's. So we could do negative 2 minus negative 5 plus subtract our y's, negative 3 minus 1. Negative 2 plus 5, that's just 5 minus 2, that's 3 squared. Plus negative 3 minus 1, that's negative 4 squared. Notice I'm using parentheses because there's a negative. That gives me 3 squared, which is 9. Negative 4 squared, which is 16. 9 plus 16 is 25. And the square root of 25 is 5. So the distance for number 5 is 5.